Well, the Washington Post is now blaming a conservative radio host for the Trump hater who shot Representative Steve Scalise. Yeah, we're all excited to see how they try to make this connection here. Carly Shimkus with Fox News Headlines 24-7, Sirius XM 115, here with uh, this interesting yeah. little story. Yeah. yeah, that's right. This article getting a bunch of buzz online today. Now, if you remember, the man who shot Congressman Steve Scalise and several others was a registered Democrat and Bernie Sanders supporter. But a Washington Post article attempts to link him to his local pro-Trump shock jock, a guy whose name is Bob Romanek. He's known for his racist rants and distrust in the political establishment. Now, here's a bit of the article regarding the nation's mood following the shooting. Quote, the nation was shocked, but Romanek, who seems to delight in launching savage attacks on local politicians and stoking his listeners' many frustrations about race, crime, and government, certainly wasn't. Now, despite being a diehard supporter of President Trump, who has perfected the art of the dire populist message, many of Romanek's biggest fans in southern Illinois, Illinois rather, are disgruntled Democrats like Hodgkinson. Now, there's no indication that the shooter, Hodgkinson, ever even listened to this guy's radio program, leading to a lot of criticism on social media. BuzzFeed's Catherine Miller sent out this tweet saying, what's the point of this? The supporter hated Trump, and there's no indication in the story he listened to this pro-Trump host. Stephen Miller, also a conservative Heat Street writer, said devoted Bernie supporter shoots up baseball fields of Republicans. Washington Post blames pro-Trump talk radio in his hometown for it. And another tweet coming in from a guy named Josh who says, I'm honestly not sure I've ever seen one article or tweet that so neatly encapsulates why Americans, by and large, loathe the mainstream media. Mm -hmm. So a lot of criticism here. <laughs> the Washington Post has, at least not on Twitter, issued a reaction to this Pretty strange story. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, and, and the thing is that last tweet, it does. It, it shows the bias, and that is why Americans hate the mainstream media right now. <laughs> it's just so stupid. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Right. Apples and oranges, right? <laughs> right. All right, let's move on. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio is facing heavy criticism for jetting off to the G20 summit in Germany in the wake of the shooting death, the assassination of a New York City police officer, Mia Sotis Familia. Now, in the speech, de Blasio actually praised German police while he was over there, but back at home, he even missed a vigil for this police officer, leading to a ton of criticism on social media. He's been facing this firestorm for a couple days now. Brian on Twitter said he had the responsibility as mayor to show respect to that officer. He is a disgrace, and I hope he is voted out of office. Pam on social media chimes in saying he's a piece of work, liberalism, hashtag disgrace. And Nick also says still confused as to why the mayor of New York City had to visit G20. Hey, maybe it's more fun to go to Germany. His son was over there, but you know, a lot of people says he had a responsibility to be at Absolutely. home in the wake of this. And he wonders tragedy. why the officers turn their backs on him right. at times. I yeah. covered local news yeah. in this town for three years, and after names like Bloomberg and Giuliani, it's uh, and not even in a partisan way. Yeah. It's just embarrassing right now the situation with our mayor. Yeah. Completely All right. agree. Well, this is the best video of the weekend, I thought. Yeah, yeah. shot in the morning, right? So. It's the moment that everybody is still talking about. The president, take check, he's going on. He's boarding Marine One, and it appears to be a very windy day. He helps this Marine with his hat. It flies off his head again. He helps him again. It was a, it was, it was a nice moment to see, right? So a lot of people on social media are buzzing about this. David says, a simple thing like that means a lot to active military and veterans. I think he's right. Also, this tweet coming in from Tommy Laren. She says, it speaks volumes. And then another tweet from Captain Not Obvi Not So obvious. Now that's a real commander in chief. So he's getting a lot of praise for this lighthearted yeah. moment. It's good to see him like Love that. Right? And he didn't even moments. like, yeah. he didn't pause. He yeah. exactly thought to yep. do it. That's yeah. when you see who people really are. Bingo. That's right. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.